Yeah, no, no, no. Mate, you made my fucking day at the end of the day. Oh, right, right, I saw you there. That's been, that's been, that's been, that's been going play. through my head all week. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, going to do police and thieves in a minute. Yeah. I'm going to go back and do police and thieves. Brilliant. Yeah. All right. Cheers, thanks for that. Hold on. That was just some white riot. They're all, oh. all the police is lined up and everyone's just stood there, everyone's quiet. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, from the people, gonna... I'm from the People's Republic of Stokes Croft. We're the ones who organise all the street art here. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Excellent. And I'm filming you right now, not very well. All right, I'm arriving. Yes, well. All right, yeah. well, right, right on the far end. Past Carmarthen. Yeah. Yeah, West, yeah, Carmarthen, near Cardigan and that. I live there, I'm going down to Glastonbury the weekend. I've left my... Son at home, he didn't come down, he's probably 14, you know? Yeah. Come on, right. so yeah, I'm on my own, so yeah, I come down here yesterday, had a nice night, and this is great. I think, stand your corner, if you've got a corner to fire, you know. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't think this would be going on if the police didn't turn up last night. You know, did anything happen? Did someone get beaten up, mugged, right? You know, what happened? Why did there was a. Come charging in because of the music. You know, it's a, it's a long-term thing. It's it's like it started back when Tesco's tried to move in. Yeah, I keep hearing this, Tesco's. I keep hearing this about Tesco's. Like. Yeah. Tesco's lied and cheated their way in here. That's what happened. They and they basically... It's about small businesses. They, yeah, it's about small businesses and local culture. And this, this area has been alternative for uh, 500 years. It's also been shut on from a great height for 500 years. Yeah, I fucking love it. Eh? I don't know why, but, you know... I used to come down here years ago, and I used to have been to Hayden, you know, yeah. about 20 years ago, I used to come down here. And then, you know, that was totally different, you come to school, you bother off and do yeah. But since I stopped all that, and my African friend, Malik, from Gambia, yeah. he introduced me to his friends, and, you know, in St Paul's, and they're beautiful people now, they've like, been down here, you know, kept staying as a friend, you know. Yeah. And the, the magpie around the corner, they're great, they look after my son, I go busking and do my thing, you know. There's beautiful people here. You know Paul, punk Paul? Yes, of course, very well. He's on the street, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I see him every time I come down here, maybe four times a year, maybe not a lot, mm. you know. I come down here for them. I always see punk Paul, right? And I, I sleep in there, and that, mm. you know, I come down and stay in there. It's great. Or the magpie, I'd sleep in the magpie. I just say, I look after my people. <laughs> Are you still filming? We filmed all that, yeah. That's right. Cool. Well, it's lovely to hear you. You know, people don't think that that there's a community in the Squatch. They think there's some. They, 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 they think there's some other. You know, some evil force going on there. That's and, right. and whereas it's actually people trying to get by and and uh, in many ways seeking out alternative ways of doing things rather than alternative. That's the word I just give it for. And what? And West Wales has got a big alternative community, hasn't it? Oh, definitely. Yeah. You know, very well, especially when I moved there. Uh, I mean, I haven't been there all the time, but I've been, you know, moved about. But I go back there, you know, it's one of my children's house. So, mm. you know. mm. Yeah, because a lot of the English hippies went up there, you know, in the eight, or late 70s, early 80s, bought land and got, you know, lovely places. Yeah. But, no, I like it better both. I love to live in the country and I like to come to the city. And, do you know what I mean? Mm. I don't know, if I didn't have my kids, I probably wouldn't be there. You know? mm. I'd just be travelling, I suppose. That's what I did. Mm. But you're always travelling, aren't you? You're always... Well... You know, where is home? Home is where your kids are. Yeah. Where your heart is, like... Well, I mean? you this... Can't the, the, road, can't you? This society struggles to... This, this society struggles to uh, deal with people oh, who, okay. who travel, don't they? Say I was an outsider, so I've got the attitude of an outsider, and then you look at Croft and you look at St Paul, you go, oh, I'm <laughs> fucking... I'd see them go low, 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 because there's a lot of criminal... What like, are you doing, Chris? You should be watching the future king get married. Oh, you're absolutely right. How are you? Let's have a big old Stokes Croft hug, my <laughs> yeah. darling. Mm. What a waste of council tax money. It's a shocker, isn't it? It is not right. It's not right indeed. Mm, and um, I wish they would all get together and give the Salvation Army. 
charity some money to replace their window, what they smashed. Well, if you look at all the money that's been spent bringing police from every corner of the city to... to, to, to well, what are they supposed to do? We can't be ruled by the mob. We just can't.